Here is how you can sidestep insecurity, be comfortable in your skin and be power packed in that confidence that God has given you. It's in the four words, remember who you are. These are words that have stayed with me from the time I was a little boy. I watched this all too famous uh, classic. It's a classic, it's Lion King. Disney is the Lion King. And in, in that story, Mufasa tells his son, Simba, remember who you are. And those words become the hinge, the turning point. Simba was in this state of uh, prolonged adolescence and he was, he was unsure about himself. In fact, it would, we can argue that he was lost. He didn't have a sense of who he was. Then he recalls the words of his father, remember who you are. Just in case you've never watched that clip, here it is. Simba. Father? Simba, you have forgotten me. No. How could I? You have forgotten who you are and so forgotten me. Look inside yourself, Simba. You are more than what you have become. You must take your place in the circle of life. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are. You are my son and the one true king. Remember who you are. In that powerful clip, we see Simba transforming, transforming from this person who doesn't know who he is, and then he basically becomes the person who steps up, rises up to the challenge of taking leadership. And I want to submit that remembering who you are is one of the most powerful things that you can do for you to be confident, for you to overcome insecurity, for you to be comfortable in your own skin, for you to be able to overcome temptation and the lies of Satan, you need to remember who you are. Remember that where Jesus was most tempted was at the point of his identity, at the point of, are you really the son of God? If you're really the son of God, then you can do this, prove yourself. And that's how the enemy of our souls wants to get us away from the things that God has in store for us. So today, I want to echo the words of Mufasa to Simba and to say, remember who you are. Wherever it is you've been uncomfortable in your skin, maybe you've been comparing yourself to others. Maybe you've been like a fish out of the water or like a fish that's been judged on its ability to climb a tree, yet you are made for the high seas. I'm here to remind you of who you are. Remember who you are. Remember your identity in God. Remember that you're a child of God. And as you do that, as you remind yourself of what the scriptures say about you, that you're made in the image and the likeness of God, then your light will begin to shine through and you'll be like a city set on a hill. Your light shall not be hidden. David is another great example in the scriptures of someone who knew who he was, who remembered who he was. When he was given this offer, opportunity for him to be someone else, to dress up as someone else, what David does is David sidesteps that. And David remembers that he's a shepherd boy, he's a skilled hunter, he's able to push back against predators, and that is what gives him confidence in the ring against Goliath. So I wonder, where is it that you need to remember who you are? Is it in that workspace? Is it in this other space, in your relationships? I am here to echo those words of Mufasa to Simba and to remind you, to say to you, take note, remember who you are. God bless you.